Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. Today is Thursday, so we got a new update in the game. And not only that, they got the lucky draw as well as a new event. It's going to be, I believe, Knights versus... I don't exactly know. But it's blue against red, and I'm going to pick blue despite wearing red. Let's go ahead and hop into the game. All right, first thing you guys will see put on a show, which is the brand new lucky draw. The skin looks sick. RUS, I don't really need another legendary. RUS I already had the dust kicker, so we're probably not gonna go too ham on that. But the main thing we want to check is the knights divided. That is exactly the name we're looking at. You basically, we'll take a look at this. We'll do give a big overview for you guys and maybe some tips and tricks if we manage to. If not, we're gonna be streaming this later today, and uh, we will be able to grind it out. So knights divided. After choosing a faction, complete the task and accumulate contribution points and earn rewards faction rewards rewards are determined by faction you choose so we're actually going to check what rewards you can possibly get take territories to win winning prizes and leaderboard weapon sets weapon sets whatever okay cool so as we're here you can pick a side to see what you can get i want to pick the blue team but before we do that let's go check some of the rewards you get you get the red charm you get the ooh, ruby razorback so that's kind of cool what's the attachments you get it, it doesn't really show uh maybe it does it does cool OWC light compensator, extended light barrel, red dot. So the red one's not bad. And you get the elite PMC red. It's more like a maroon more than anything. And then you can get the elite PMC blue. I think the blue looks so much better than the red. The red just doesn't go too well together. And you get the Razorback Sapphire. So that's actually pretty nice. And the winning team gets a backpack. So, and I honestly think the charm is nice. So we're going to go ahead and pick the blue team. Unless there's something else I should know about. It doesn't look like it, but... I do want to get the elite PMC blue. I think I don't have enough blue skins. I have plenty of red skins. So I just think, I honestly, this like this red doesn't go look too good. Honestly, like I think this blue team has got to be the blue team. The blue team looks like the helmet. It's just, all right, we're going to take a screenshot. Actually, we need the screenshot. Let's go ahead and just join the blue team as soon as we can automatically check out what we can get. Um, so you guys can see you get the wind suit, you get a pistol. I'm assuming the other one will be red. You get a chopper, so that's actually really cool. And you get a QQ9 ultramarine skin, so that's really cool. Uh, wow, kill enemies in any mode. So right now, red team's already winning. We're gonna be grinding this out after. Let's check out the leaderboard, see what you can win from that. Um, as you guys can see, if you're number one in the leaderboard, you get this pretty sick banner, which I'm pretty okay with. Uh, let's go check the info button. It should show you the rewards. You will actually get a locust schism. That's actually really nice and clean. So top 5% will get that. And then you get all the other stuff. The QQ9 or the RUS. Is that that's RUS? Ooh, H3K. Nine round. That's actually pretty cool. So overall, not that bad. Um, and only thing you really have to do is get maps as well as uh, kill people. So you have 24 hours to kill as much people as you can. So that's definitely going to be the main thing. I'm going to pick blue. You can collect territory. Let's see how the territory works, to be honest. Oh, it's daily. Every single day you're going to play, you can unlock it. I believe it should be 14 days, 15 days. There is 15 territories, and whoever unlocks it gets a backpack. So nothing too crazy when it comes to that. Anything else new, maybe seasonal stuff, nothing crazy available. So Knights Divided, that's actually pretty cool. You can get a pretty nice skin in the Elite PMC. So I'm actually super, super happy about that. It looks super nice. So we're going to grind that for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the lucky draw. We'll do it. Sorry, chat. That, that was loud. You guys, it might not have been loud for you guys. But for me, it was absolutely loud. So this skin right here, Merc Combat Rig, looks super sick. But he is thick. We have an LK Magnetic Pulse skin, which is a, um, a set. The set is to get the FHA and the thing. So... We're just going to do four pulls here since we can. Maybe five. I usually recommend only doing five pulls. I don't usually go ham on these. But as of now, I'm going to do probably four to five pulls. If we want, maybe on stream we'll do the rest of them. But as of now, it seems that there's nothing too crazy. We got the backpack and the wingsuit. On the bright side, more likely than not, we have less chance of getting anything terrible. If we get the character, it's going to be good. But we get the EMP, which I believe is our first EMP skin. So that's going to be nice. One more. And generally speaking, after four, I usually recommend stopping just because it does become quite expensive as you progress. And we did get an FAJ skin. It's actually really nice. To be honest with you guys, it does pulse out. That's actually really cool. So I'm actually kind of happy about that. So that's pretty sick. And I think the main thing about the LK is to see if the iron stair is good, but it looks like a base LK. We're going to do a, a fifth one. If you want to risk it, you might be willing to spend it on the fifth one. And we got the LK, and we actually have the entire set. So... 
since we have the LK and we actually have the entire set right now, we can actually be able to get the um, the bonuses you get from that, right? For the uh, so collect all the sets, you also get double points. So that's actually good. As long as we have that equipped, we'll be able to do that. And if I want to, I can potentially do one more pull. We we'll actually do one more pull, then I have exactly sixteen thousand points that way. I'm probably gonna get a charm here. We got the character skin. All right, I'm pretty happy about that. To be honest, the amount we paid was approximately the same amount as a gun crate. Um, maybe a little more than that. So I'm actually really happy with everything we got. So let's just go equip this right now. It's going to be one of my favorite skins. It looks really nice and clean. Uh, who are we going to replace right now? Which one of these is my AR? I, I think I already had an LK class somewhere here. It would have been this one. So as of now, let's go ahead and just... Uh, does, it doesn't really matter, honestly. For now, let's go ahead and just replace this one. Where are you? There you go. We replaced the Spectre skin. All right, so we got that brand new one, which should be all the way at the... Here we go. Merc combat rig. That's actually really good. We are not going to put any backpack. He do kind of look thick, so that's kind of awkward in my opinion. But under that, let's go and check the assault rifle that we have. Uh, we do have the LK right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select the blueprint. We'll take a look and see what it comes with. The magnetic pulse comes with a strike for grip light compensator red dot and a uh, OWC marksman so it's okay to be honest with you guys we'll remove everything it looks like it has the base iron sights so that's gonna suck can I add like a completionist at the same time I cannot so uh, we're just gonna make around a build that I, I typically would use a no stock integral um, Merc strike for grip we'll put the a for you round mag and we'll put like a, a laser sight or something like that I don't know exactly if this is a, the right build, but we're potentially just going to have this equipped right now. And then we'll put the, uh, what was the other thing I need to put? The EMP, I believe it was. And we should have that skin here. And the final thing is the FHJ. So having that equipped as well will mean that we'll have the bonus. And, and this actually should be a, a blueprint. It's actually really nice and clean. We're just going to hop into the game to look at it and see how it looks. I don't really need to do a full game with this. So maybe we'll just do a, a bot lobby so you guys can see how it looks in game. So let's go ahead and um, just do that. All right. So we're in game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gun and basically how it looks. Uh, do I have an aim in down sight? It is the exact same iron sight as before. But the skin itself looks really, really clean. Let's go ahead and reload real quick. To show it to you guys it kind of looks like the venom one i don't know if you guys know about that one let's see if i have it i might actually have the venom one i can show it off to you guys very similar to how it looks in game but overall not too bad but it doesn't have a different iron sight so i don't think it's worth it, it actually it might be a little bit different if i can remember correctly let me scope in one more time but i think the iron sight might be a little bit different yeah just a little bit different but i still have that thick thick sides on it so really not too great let's go ahead and reload this in the sky so you guys can see so yeah not too crazy not too amazing i don't want the rus so i didn't go for it now let's go ahead and take a look at the skin we're gonna actually do a cheers real quick so right now pretty good pretty cool pretty thick in my opinion it doesn't have any effects or anything like that we'll do one more time we'll do the heart this time so he's gonna have a little heart emoji on that so that's actually pretty cool so overall, not too crazy, not too bad. Um, I wish we had, I don't care about the RS enough, but basically that's all the information we have. Let's actually check to see if it looks very similar to the Venom one. Like I mentioned, okay, watch. This is the Magnetic Pulse and this is the Anti-Venom. They look very similar when it comes to like color scheme, but I believe, I believe, yeah, no, they actually have the same iron sight. I thought maybe they would have different iron sights, but they have exactly the same iron sight. But very similar in style, in my opinion, when it comes to color, but this one has a little more effect. So when it comes to, like, epic skin, this actually looks like an epic skin compared to, like, the shark bait, which just looks like a rare camo. But that's essentially what we have here. And uh, we didn't get the uh, the other skin, but we got lucky with the character skin, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the event as well as the lucky draw. Honestly, the RUS could be really, really good, but I already have a legendary RUS, so it's not really worth for me to try to pull for it. I'm going to be waiting for probably the DRH when it comes out or the Akembo um, Deagles, whenever they come out. But let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.